Hi, I'm Caleb with Wolf Construction Group. Today we're going to do a little DIY project here of showing you how to prep and paint a crawl space door. So let's just get into it. We're going to go through some step-by-step -step processes here. So as you can see, I kind of started to apply a primer to this door here. Um, you know, we were going through some other things. Um, but the first step would be to apply something to, you want to fill these little screw holes that you have here. Um, you don't want to have those bleeding through. Um, you know, it's just, it's not going to give you a good finish or a good look that you could have if you filled them prior. So what we're going to do is put a little bit of this on. You have your putty knife here. And the good thing to remember is less is more when you're doing any type of, you know, wood filler compact. You know, you can even apply this to if you're doing some drywall work in your house, stuff like that. You want to just get a nice smooth finish. Just like that and it may take one or two coats and that's okay you know apply one let it dry sand it down a little bit and then put your second coat on until you can run your hand across it and feel that it's smooth um, you know where you don't even hardly know it's there um, that's kind of what you're looking for so we'll get that on of course let that dry and then we're going to go into the sanding process so the next thing to do is uh, we have here just this is an orbital sander um, this is a 220 grit paper that's on here, which is really fine. So that will cause you not to be able to, you know, if you're not used to sanding, put any gouges, those type of things, or any lines in it, because using an electric sander, you can do that very easily. You can also use a palm sander, um, kind of the same process. Um, probably if you're not used to using any power equipment, such as sander, something like that, I would recommend starting with the palm sander. It's a little less aggressive than the orbital sander. Um, and then start with a 220 paper. If that doesn't get out whatever imperfections you have, you know, you can always go, well, down from there as far as the numbers go. Um, so that's kind of where I would recommend with the sanding. Uh, the next step would be to apply the primer. As you can see, we've already started here. Um, and this is a good example, as you can see, where these screw holes are showing through. You know, that's kind of what look you can have if you don't take the time to fill that, let it dry, sand it, and then apply another coat as needed. Your finish should not look like that once it's done. So right here, since we applied some primer uh, for something else we were doing, you know, we could still come back, put a little bit of wood filler on that, and do a light sand, and then continue with our painting. So you have the primer, you want to let that dry. Um, these are Sherwin-Williams products, you know, that's what we recommend, that's what we like. Um, another important note about the primer is when you're buying a primer, you want to specify with whoever your representative is at the Sherwin-Williams that you are painting a pressure-treated product. This pressure-treated wood does have a lot of chemicals and other solutions in it that make it a pressure-treated material. Um, but with that, over time, as that dries out, that, will, that product will try to push through the paint. So you want to have a good primer that has a seal blocker in it that won't allow that colors of that, that uh, chemicals and solutions that are in the product to bleed through your paint color and show. Um, secondly, you know, you have your finished paint here. Um, you know, this is, a, this is a Promar paint, which you can get at Sherwin-Williams. Um, again, just express to them what you're doing with it and they'll lead you in the right direction. This is an exterior latex paint. which will last a little bit longer, um, especially for an exterior application. Um, the oil will kind of seal in everything and keep it nice and, you know, the finish really nice. But an oil-based oil paint is a little bit messier, a little hard to clean. A lot of people nowadays prefer the latex paint um, just for that reason. And then also because exterior latex paint is, is kind of grown and become giving you the finish that an oil-based used to do. Um, so you have that. If you want to get a little fancy, uh, you can also get yourself a paint sprayer, and this will give you a nice finish, really professional finish. Um, you know, you can do tutorials on this, you know, online. I would recommend watching a couple videos if you've never done it before, because it can be a little bit tricky. Um, but that's another option if, you, if you're wanting to look into something like that. Um, other than that, you know, it's, it's a pretty basic process. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, please reach out to us at Wolf Construction. And of course, check us out at wolf.construction. Have a good day.